welcome to day four of VBS. I think that this is the most important lesson. Because today's lesson is about how Jesus' power lets us live forever. So before we get to today's lesson, let's just review where we've come from so far. On day one, we learned that Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Then on Tuesday, we learned that Jesus' power gives us hope. Yesterday, we learned that Jesus' power helps us be bold. And today's story is called The Good News, because today is about how Jesus' power lets us live forever. Each one of you have been created by God. God gave you your brains, he gave you your muscles, and he gave you your heart. Jesus has wonderfully created you in his image, and he loves you, and he wants to be in relationship with you. But sadly, that relationship has been torn. Caroline, have you ever done something that has broken a friendship with somebody else before? I sure have. And so have I. I've done things that make other people upset with me. I've done things that have broken my uh, parents' directions. Maybe you've done something like that too. And whenever you do something that hurts somebody else, your friendship with that person is broken. Your relationship with that person is broken. Now, each and every one of us have done something like this before. And the Bible calls that sin. Sin is when we break God's commands. Whenever we do something that is displeasing in God's sight. And because of your sin, you have a broken relationship with God. And this is a big problem because God created you to be in relationship with him, to have a friendship with him. So what are we going to do whenever that friendship is broken by our sin. Can it be restored? Yeah, and that is the good news. The good news is that the friendship is restored because Jesus' power lets us live forever. Jesus came and he died so that he could pay for all of your sins, so that he could take all of your guilt. Do you ever feel guilty whenever you do something that's wrong? Caroline, have you ever felt guilty whenever you've done something that's wrong? Every time I do something that's yeah. wrong. <laughs> and me too. I feel guilty whenever I do something that's wrong, whenever I do something that hurts somebody else, or whenever I do something that I know God isn't happy with. Jesus died so that he could take all of your sin, and all of your guilt onto himself. And now, because he's risen again and he is alive, he gives us hope that one day when we die, we too can live forever with him. So how do we do this? Well, it comes by trusting in Jesus. And that's been one of our main themes for the entire week. You can trust in Jesus simply by asking him. Asking him for the gift of eternal life. By putting your trust in him. That you could never do anything by yourself to earn his eternal life. But it's something that he died in order to give to you. So, maybe today you need to pray and put your trust in Jesus for your eternal life because you know that Jesus' power lets us live forever. Can we do that now? Yeah, let's pray before the video ends. 
Dear Jesus, we thank you because we know that we are wonderfully created. We praise you because we know that your love for us is unimaginable. Lord Jesus, we thank you that you came to earth so that you could die on the cross for the forgiveness of our sins, for the forgiveness of my sins, for the forgiveness of Caroline's sins. And we thank you for the hope that because you rose again on the third day, one day we too can live forever. Jesus, we ask that you would fill every child that's listening to this video with your faith so that they can trust in you and have eternal life with you, beginning today and continuing forever and ever and ever. Amen.